head's already kind of rotated to her head. You can see that one. So it's, it's starting to rotate to the left already, but it's going to be difficult to see from the camera. I think I can stop there already. Now, she didn't rotate a whole 45 degrees, so instead of putting my right hand under, I'm just doing it with my left middle finger. You can come around the left side, and you might put this here. That will be worse. Can you see my middle finger under there? I don't really teach this doing it with the same hand. I usually teach it by reaching under with yeah. the opposite hand. Okay. Yeah. But if it doesn't rotate the whole 45, then, then it's easier to get with this. With the hand. same. Mm -hmm. That's a good. That's good to know. And it's starting to soften. Because I usually do it from the other side too. Sometimes you have to, sometimes it stays over on one side for so long that your one finger gets tired and you got to mm -hmm. switch fingers <laughs> to the other hand. So it's not really rotating back to neutral, it's side bending to the right. So if it's rotating to the left and side bending to the right, uh, Kristen, any ideas? No, I always have trouble with that. I just try to work all the muscles because I don't know which one to work on. Okay. So you don't have the book memorized then, do you? <laughs> no. <laughs> just certain parts of that I highlighted. Now the rotation is coming up. Mm -hmm. And it's starting to rotate the other way. I'm not working on the obliquus on this side. I'm just kind of feeling a wide range of the bigger muscles. Right. If there's one that's kind of tight right here, that would probably be the, well, it's one that ends on the mastoid process. There's a couple, like, forget the line names. So you can actually feel where that insertion and origin is, right? Um, I can feel that it's headed towards the mastoid process, which is right here. Okay. And there's, a, there's one muscle that's kind of tenser when I move my fingers back. Now, the fact that it rotated, or is it side bending? It's doing both. Both. Rotating to the right and side bending to the right right now. The fact that it's rotating to the right, would that not indicate that those muscles are a little bit tighter and that you would want to work the obliquity? Um, except it moved kind of too fast. Okay. It didn't seem like an obliquous type of motion and it pulled the head into side bending at the same time. Mm -hmm. So I don't think it was the obliquus that moved it over here. And if you were to work it anyway? Sure, if, if I work this muscle where my index finger is, which is like the splenius capitis or something like that, mm -hmm. and I felt it soften, but the head still didn't return to neutral, mm -hmm. then I would definitely work the obliquus on this side. If it still didn't soften, then I'd work the SCM on the opposite side, you'd, you'd go through a list of all of the things that could be rotating. I just felt a little twitch in, the, in this muscle I'm working on. Did you feel the twitch? No, actually I didn't. I usually didn't feel the twitches he told me were happening. And there's, so, yeah. I'm giving more pressure now on that 
seams. And now it's softening really quickly. So I'm not putting pressure on any muscle now, I'm just following the motion. But just back to there. So now it is time to work on the abductus. And it just feel kind of hard right there. Now, what is that muscle again that you are now touching? The obliqueus capitis inferior. That is the obliqueus. See, now I, I would have gotten that all wrong. I thought it was in a different place. Help you out right here is the spinous process of C2. So if you come over into the muscles right next to it and then make an up and down motion like that, you can feel it. Right, because that's what's well, going diagonally. It is going mm -hmm. diagonal, right? Yeah, I you, can it's really easy to feel. Picture it. You can even feel the diagonal fiber of it. Okay. Do you want to reach back there and feel it right now in yourself? Yeah, could I try that? Because I. Am I on it? Is that where that is? Or am I somewhere uh, else? This finger? My index finger. Is that where it's on? Is it? Is it there or not? Uh, let's move this way a little bit. And let me have more control of your index finger. So with the diagonal motion would be... Right, up and down like that, across it. Uh, keep doing that. A bigger stroke. Bigger? Yeah. And okay. more down towards your shoulder. Down? So. Yeah. There. Oh, okay. That's it. That's it. Okay. Well, where was I when I was up higher? Uh, just kind of in between it and the spinous process. Oh, okay. All right. Now, where is that spinous process again? Come, come toward towards the center and down. And down. And that hard the bump thing that I'm more feeling is center. that it? More towards the center. More towards the right center. Right there. There's. Ouch! Oh, that. Yeah. Okay, that thing. <laughs> That is the spinous process. Yeah, it's big and obvious, isn't it? Okay. You can, yeah, you can feel that baby. Okay, my turn again. All right. <laughs> well, that was helpful. Good. I think you just palpated something. Oh, he's definitely got a tight muscle. I can, I tell you that. He's got to the right spot. Well, it's so much softer now. You must have done something. Becoming aware of it makes a big difference, too. I bet that'd be really helpful if you asked the person, why don't you feel this? Yeah. yeah. What, what about asking the person to uh, come in, be with you where you are with your finger and using their breath and... Right. Another thing that would be helpful is making asking them to contract it. Try to turn mm -hmm. your head to the right even more. Okay. And then relax it. So that sense, sense the difference, and that's the way you know they can tell what's going on. Yeah, it's it's not really doesn't really fit into a protocol, you know, a, a spa massage right. type of mentality. But if you were working with somebody at home, yeah, in fact, I have done that with my and you know it's totally different. different. Right. I mean, my atmosphere at home is totally different than the atmosphere. Yeah, there's if there's a headache that's persisting and like other things aren't working, then you say, why don't you contract it? You know as hard as you can and that really and that's, you know, if that's nothing fine. else works that's that's going to be the thing that works you're in a good spot there because you can see the motion just began to come back towards neutral but I don't think it's going to go all the way yeah I guess that's just Almost crystal there. slow and steady. Yeah, it's, it is. It's, it's still going. Mm -hmm. yeah, she's going some more. I hope the camera can catch that. Yeah, she's in a perfect place for seeing that.
Indeed. There she goes.